Hey guys, so this is the spoilers discussion for Shazam, and it took a while to do this review. So we got back at like 3 a.m., and we were so tired, and we just, and then after that, what happened after that? Why did we not review this? Just life hits, and uh, we just really had some stuff going on. It was a uh, no hits. excuse. We, we, we could have filmed that night. It was just super late that one night, and then after that, we kept saying we're going to do the next day, the next day, the next day, and we just kept kind of pushing it off so uh here's a here's our spoiler review of shazam looking back on our grades i'm pretty sure i gave this a it was, right above, it was above nine both of us gave above nine is there a nine or nine point five i really love this film it was there's really i had no complaints that was my biggest my biggest issue when you watch it like I, when i was thinking about uh complaints i had they were really all nitpicks for me except for maybe one i, I can't really remember the complaints i have now but uh, I, mean, I don't really. I, don't I really, really know. enjoyed the film. I wish it would have done a little bit better in the box office, but luckily the uh, budget wasn't very high, so I think they're still gonna make money off it. Definitely, it just yeah. it's not gonna be a billion dollar film, which I wasn't really expecting. Getting to the spoilers, yes. we couldn't talk about in the non spoiler review. The biggest one that I can think of right now is at the end, uh, they actually pulled through with the Shazam family well, storyline. I mean, honestly, I think the biggest one is just the demons. I didn't see those well, we in the trailer at all. We couldn't talk about because I didn't. Well, I don't think we did talk well, about both it. things. We didn't see in the trailer. You literally, I, I never saw any of the main bad. The well, not main bad. Guys, those demons. They were first the statues. Then they were actually. I never saw those in trailers. Did you? So that was we didn't even talk about those. Yeah, they kept those hidden. Uh, they kept. I mean, they kept all the things hidden that you you didn't know about. You. They kept the Shazam family at the end hidden. They kept the demons hidden. They really kept the. They really kept the villain hidden for the most part, aside from the fact you saw. Uh, the guy with the glasses on, he kind of catches Shazam's punch. You see him maybe, yeah. maybe a couple TV spots, but I actually did, did a good job of not watching the TV spots. They might have shown some of that stuff in there. You can correct us if we're wrong. I think they did a good job, though, of honestly. I, I feel like I saw a lot of things, and yeah. I didn't see I mean, the main things in this movie. Yeah, so, so. really, the, the beginning of the film starts out with Dr. Savannah as a kid in a car crash. His dad gets really <laughs> mad at him, and... Uh, you think you, you think they avoid a car accident, then they get in another car accident, and somehow no one dies from that. He but, goes uh, through the windshield. And yeah, I was nice. trying to figure when it started. Crazy, I didn't man. know who this kid was, and then you see he goes to the kind of I guess wizard area called. I I think the, I, I think I can do it. The gatekeeper. Is it's that actually ga it? Maybe like it's some it's no some kind there. of like wizard that's like you saw that there was seven chairs. And he's the last wizard still going. He's trying to pass on his powers to someone else to guess, take up the It's kind mantle. of like, the, yeah, kind of the mantle or like, it's kind of a connection with Doctor Strange having to protect that, the, the realm the, the kind sanctums. of thing. Yeah, it's just something like that. And it's a really cool scene. You saw this six sins, six deadly sins, like yeah. where the six demons, and you saw their like statues with red eyes. And he was keeping their powers, I guess, constrained in that, uh, this ball uh where yeah. they're at and that's why he goes there and he, he gives this kid an option because he he might he actually he picked him out out of everyone and he went to the dark power it's kind of like the dark side light side thing in yeah. star wars and he went to the dark side and he's like get out of here i don't want to see you ever again and that kind of sets up that villain really good because he got rejected and you see him later on in the film really really soon him as an adult like he's been like he's been trying to figure out how to get back to this place for so long and that, i thought that did a really good job of a backstory for him you know, I definitely, the statues, though, in the cave, I thought those were already cool before. Like, they were just cool as statues because they were really cool, like, designs. And I didn't know they were actually going to be out in actual forms because I didn't see it in the trailers. And I was, like, really surprised by that. I thought they were already cool by the statues. But that whole setup in there was definitely yeah, really cool. really cool setting. But, uh, I, I definitely thought... At first, I was nervous. I'm like, I hope these things aren't like ghosts, like yeah, that's like, like mist things going around. But when they when they were fully formed, which they were for a decent amount of their screen time, there were some boss shots. Like when uh, Doctor Savannah is standing there in front of his dad, and he's like, "This is real power," and you see them like stand there. The flipping one that uh, with the wings is really cool. Yeah. Uh, and they were all really cool. The one that looked like a zombie from a zombie game we used to we or we played in an arcade a while ago when we were kids. Yeah. Like a fat thing, like with a huge mouth. Uh, yeah, like the whole stomach is like yeah, it's kind of like the thing. If we, yeah, if we, I mean, they were, they were really cool designs, and you can tell that this was a uh, the director of this film did uh, Annabelle. I already said this in the last way, but he did Annabelle Creation and Lights Out, two really good horror that's films. So that's, that's why the, the girls in it. Though. That's why those demons. I'm like, that's why these horror directors are. He's a horror director, like who could do demons well. So hopefully he gets on another Conjuring universe project here soon. I want to see more of his work. And I think I mean James Wan did Aquaman. Remember the yeah, yeah. Now our last two DC movies have been done by 
horror directors. Uh, and that girl, though, from Lights Out, and that she short was in film, it. who's in that movie. Suppo yeah, and supposedly the Annabelle, the doll, was in this movie. I, I don't remember seeing it. Maybe when they maybe was they're saying it was the original Raggedy Ann doll. Not, no, but maybe because maybe that was the girl, little girl's doll. I don't know. I I'll have to go. Yeah, I, I yeah, didn't yeah, see yeah, that because yeah. if, if it was if it would have been normal Annabelle from our the Conjuring universe, I feel like I would have seen that. Yeah, I, I totally would have missed it if it was the original. Because uh, that original is not that really. They go back to that area later on when uh, Sh Shazam gets his powers, and as soon as uh, Sh I guess Shazam is his name. Passes yeah. the powers over to him. Billy he he dies and just turns to dust because you can tell he was old. At that, and then the only other part down that area is later on when they're in this uh, Shazam and his family, his uh, foster family's in there. And there's a bunch of doors and one opens up and there's like an alligator family like playing cards. That's kind of scary. No, they were like the freaking Zorgons. You guys want some more Zorgon butt without? There was like a weird hand that came out of one. There was a T Rex growl. Even though there, was, it looked like there was like wind or like snow, though, so that's kind of weird. It might have been the growl, the, the wind of the growl. Like, it looked right like snow, though. I don't remember that. A winter T Rex, and I guess that's possible. Did you see? I don't remember seeing snow, but yeah, I but then snow. I, but then <laughs> but then uh, that was the one thing like Shazam because we kind of talked to everything. You saw his stuff. He was using his powers. He didn't really know what he was doing. Cause he's a kid. But in that moment when when the family's in there and Doctor Savannah's coming after him, and that was when he was gonna all the sins were around him. He takes the staff, doesn't allow the demons to take the power. I guess that might have been later when that part happens. But uh, yeah. he's right there, and Shazam's able to like teleport. He was able to teleport himself and everyone from that realm to the real world. Oh uh, yeah, I was kind of surprised he was able to do that. Yeah, it is weird. He said, he said, uh, go to like go to. Oh, that's right, because he said go somewhere, or go like go to the last place he was thinking of. He went. They went to that, like strip club or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After that, then they go to the carnival, which. Uh, where Santa Claus is there, yeah. Yeah, which uh, I'll admit, I'll admit, the Santa Claus, that was a little over the top. I don't know why they filmed they, uh, him they so kept, much. They had him, they really had a huge role in that film. <laughs> he had way uh, too many scenes. He had at least four, four scenes I can think of. There's a really cool scene where he's like, they're all hiding and he calls them out and says, you're gonna, like, everyone, I'm gonna kill all your people because you're hiding amongst them and you're not coming out. He comes out and then that's when he... Dr. Savannah, he's being used by the demons all the time. I don't think we've said that. The demons, there's technically, actually, I guess there's seven demons. He's the seventh. No, the, the seventh one was hiding inside of him the whole time. No. They only had six out because to take those the seven powers of Shazam, he, the demons were going to all use those powers. And they were they were at, they were were telling the Savannah that, uh, that he was going to get the seventh seat when he wasn't. So they were using the whole time. Yeah. And that's why once the demons come out at the end, Shazam takes the, the, the staff and uh, tells all his family, all his siblings, to to uh, put their hand on the staff and say his name, and they all get they all get the powers of Shazam, which is really cool. And they're not all the same; like they had different, I guess. Well, well they all the same powers. They, they, all just didn't know how to, they just didn't know how to use them at first. Well, no, they, they actually knew they how to do different colors. It was like they were all different colors. Well, no, no, I don't think they all were. Really. It was like blue and purple. But and I just stuff. I, I just like seeing all the. Uh, the kids turn into adults. It was a really cool scene. I, I did not expect them to go that far in this one because I thought it was going to be Shazam versus the... But it, it kind of pushed the message home that, like, uh, he needed his family to help out. With, but that's not... That's fine. It's, he, he, he couldn't he do everything himself like an overpowered, ridiculous character. Yeah, like someone have, who just came out of his family. <laughs> I know people complained about... Uh, all the other siblings being able to use their powers immediately. They didn't really know how to use their powers immediately. Yeah, they were like, not good. They were, they were all were kind of good, testing right. it out. Like the, the uh, what's his name? His, his brother, the one that was like his assistant yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah. He, like he he's he's fighting the gargoyle, the like wing winged demon stuff like that. Some really cool fight scenes in that. Well, just before I forget, there's just some jokes that we wanted to point out. Like the one where Shazam and Doctor Zavanna says he starts like saying this evil like line, this big. Like line, scary line. Pour and they're your too blood far out of the... Yeah, they're too far away, so they can't hear each other. I thought that was a good one. And then yeah, obviously the... the keyboard scene is the keyboard scene, which I ha we have on film well, right here. Show or Exclu else but that, I really like that scene, seeing them come together. And then uh, it wasn't like a great. I guess that one's that's the one complaint I'll have is that there wasn't a great like fight scene. I guess like there was some good like there was some that's good true. there was there was some decent fight moments, but there that was the one complaint I'll agree with people on. There, like there wasn't a scene where Shazam like really figured out his powers, which is fine. He's a he's a kid. It wasn't. It makes more sense. He's gonna gradually get into it. Yeah. So before the credits sense. start, you see them in the lunchroom, and Shazam finally oh, comes to the lunch yeah. to the cafeteria, which I thought was a great moment because that kid was ask was telling everyone that uh that he knew Shazam and he was gonna come to lunch. <sighs> he, that one time he didn't come, and he acted like he was on the phone, but then he actually comes in and everyone like is like amazed. Then he says, 
Uh, I, this was I still liked it because it, it looked just like Henry Cavill's suit. But he says, I, "I brought a friend with I brought a friend of mine if you don't mind." And then you see uh, Superman walk in with a tray of food. You know what which, though? I honestly wish. No, I I definitely like that scene, but I honestly think it would have been. Although wasn't Shazam like shocked though still? To, no, Shazam must have already talked to him. He said, "I brought a friend." Well, that, that, I was thinking it'd be better well, though if, still, if Shazam was there, and then Superman walked in, and then Shazam was like, "Oh my god!" And here's here's the better thing. If you couldn't get his face, here's what I was hoping. After I saw what they did, I still liked it because it, it looks just like it wasn't a new actor, and you can't tell because it's, it looks like his body in a suit. But it, it, or Shazam's at the the cafeteria stand at the table. He's like, like after he says like he's my best friend, he taught me all my moves and stuff like that. He says. I'm even stronger than Superman. Then, then all of a sudden you hear then, this, he, then, then you hear the sound barrier break, and then he's like, "Oh no!" And then it just yeah, cuts no. to black. Like no, that would that, be awesome. That would be perfect if they had Henry Cavill. Then yeah, he's outside. You don't even the need to, then he looks out. Then ends. That well, would be so perfect. Well, yeah, if, if you had a space, that'd be perfect. Like you hear like someone knocking on the window, and it's like, <gasps> and, and, and then yeah, but he I'm obviously doesn't want to fight him. But I'm thinking if you couldn't get his face, then he says that, and you just hear like you know you know the sound when he comes to the, the yeah. sound barrier. You just hear that, and he's like. Uh -oh. Honestly, uh, that would have been perfect. a great way to not even show him. Yeah, because then that way you only need to, you only had to cut his head off from yeah. the, from the shot. The second end credit scene, the third one was just the, the scene you saw in the trailer, the, the TV movie. spot with uh, with him making a joke about the yeah, like yeah. what's powerful about the fish and like because you could control yes. the whole, whole army out of him. That was a pretty cool scene. I liked the joke. But you see Doctor Savannah in a jail cell. Writing off all these like different like codes and stuff from that different uh, wizard realm. And his marker breaks. No. Yeah, he, he yells like way over the top. Because <laughs> he wrote and all then, over the walls and then inverted. Yeah, and then all all of a sudden you hear this voice say like, "You think there's only one way to get powers of the Shazam or the wizards and stuff like that, or magic?" And then it zooms in and it's a caterpillar talking to him. Which uh, I I mean it's, I, I like seeing new things, especially in these movies. I want to see him. I, I want to see him do this crazy stuff. Like, Aquaman really proved to me that, like, I, I want to see all this stuff on screen. Like, yeah, it's ridiculous. Noctis yeah. playing the drums. But when you see it, it's not that bad. I mean, that was for, like, two seconds. Yeah, but, no, uh, it's just, if you have a talking raccoon, why can't you have yeah. a talking caterpillar? And, and the way they did it actually wasn't that cartoony. Like, I, I actually thought they would do a cartoony with glasses and stuff. It just had, like, a little, like, voice box, an actual caterpillar. I, they're going to have to explain how, how he can do stuff because well, that's yeah. ridiculous. But uh, that, I really like that scene. This movie overall, I really loved. Uh, surprisingly, I mean, going in, it was kind of like Aquaman. I, didn't really, I wasn't, like, pumped walking into the theater. Like, I was, no. I'll be happy if it's a good movie, and that's what I want to see. And it definitely entertained us. Had some really funny jokes. I thought there was some good action moments and just a really good storyline, which was the key thing about this one. It was a family storyline. Uh, I guess we didn't really talk about the his mom, but, I mean, you, everyone else yeah. kind of talks about that. But his mom, yeah, his mom, like, didn't really care about him, and he realizes that his mom that he's been looking for didn't give him a crap about him, and he wanted, he found his real family, he goes back, and that's when the whole family part which is why this movie did so well i think is because like with critics is the storylines about a family and i feel like anyone rational loves their family like that's a great storyline yeah i definitely really like the movie also and sorry it took us so long to get the spoiler discussion out i know you guys are like clamoring for it yeah so let us know what you guys thought about the spoilers from shazam down in the comments <laughs> did you guys see this movie do you guys want to see a sequel i mean i'm, I'm hoping they do a it sounds like they're doing a black adam or movie it's by himself i was hoping they would mix him into shazam too but we'll see about that so yeah so th thanks for watching our spoilers discussion of uh shazam we'll see you guys <laughs> in the next uh video bye guys